Well, hello and welcome to the 98.5 WNUW RCS Zeta training video. So the first thing you'll notice when you uh, come into the screen, if uh, the system is not already logged in, you'll be presented with this login screen. And since you're a DJ, you just simply type in DJ with no password and hit the enter key or hit this arrow button over here. As the system comes in, you'll notice you've got a couple of things. Now in the Air Studio, in the main studio, we have two screens. We have the left screen, which is what you see here, and the right screen, which is on the other side, which we'll show at another point. Um, as you can see, the song that's playing on the air is at, on top, and it's got this green little progress bar. This indicates how much time is left in the song, and when there's less than 10 seconds in the song, the whole item turns red to let you know that something is ending. When the system is in auto mode, it's going to automatically sequence to the next event. And as one plays, it indicates the decks that it's coming out of. So right now we're playing out of Zeta 1A, and if you look on the console, you'll see it'll say Zeta 1A. That's the one that's going to be turned on, and as long as it's faded up, this song will be playing out over the air. Next is 3A, and next is 2A. So when you come in to do your show, uh, the first thing you do is make sure that um, you are in the proper hour. So on the other screen, you'll look in the log and make sure that if you're starting at, let's say, noon, that the log is actually in the 12 noon hour. Okay? Once you do that, um, you're going to come in here and you're going to switch the station from auto to live assist. Now, as you can see, when you switch into live assist, it brings the chain links available. Um, to stop the system, all you have to do is come over here to this chain link, see how it says SEG, and click on it, and you can change this chain to a stop. Okay, and then what's going to happen is in two minutes as this song uh, finishes, the system is going to stop and wait for you to do something. Now, as soon as the song is over, you'll turn your microphone on and do your break. Um, when you're done, you're going to want to get the system to resume playing, and to do that, uh, it's very, very easy. You have this Play Next button here. You can simply click it, or of course, the uh, left touch screen, uh, the left screen uh, is a touch screen, and you can just touch the uh, big Play button over here. Um, to, If you change your mind and don't want to stop after this, you have a couple of options. You can simply set this back, and it'll continue to sag, or you can go up here and switch the mode back to auto. In auto, it'll ignore whatever chain stops you have set and just keep on going. But in this case, we definitely want to stop, okay? Also on the console, you'll notice that there are buttons uh, that correspond to the different modes. Um, obviously, there is a auto button, there is a live assist button, and there's a chain stop button, and a play next button. Pretty straightforward. The play next button on the board is essentially the same as this thing. So you can either click this play guy or hit the pink play next button to start the next event. Um, the live assist button um, flips the mode. So if I hit auto right now, it'll switch to auto, as you can see. Um, and if I hit live assist, it will switch to live assist. Okay. So we're just going to wait for this song to end. As you can see, there's 30 seconds left in the song. And then once it's over, um, you're going to see what the system looks like when it's stopped. And then um, you're going to start the next song. Now, as you can see, it's got this little 25 seconds here. That indicates the intro of the next song. And what that means is how much music is there before they actually start singing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let you hear uh, what this sounds like. Uh, when we're ready to start. So there's five, four, three, two, one. Then you'll start doing your break, start talking. When you're finished talking, you either hit the play next button on the board or you can click this. And as you can see, the intro now is uh, indicating as playing. And that's that yellow, that's this yellow progress bar. And once the intro is over, the yellow progress bar will go away. Okay, so that's pretty uh, simple and uh, straightforward. 
So as you can see, um, this yellow bar indicates the intro, and we've got the item playing. It's currently playing out of uh, Zeta 3A, and you can see it. You can see it on the board and verify that the meters are playing at the top.